Hello there. The UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson will be making a Brexit broadcast to the nation tomorrow evening. But it looks like the BBC is not invited to the party. Firstly, as ever, please kick that YouTube algorithm up the rear by giving this video a big fat like. And I do generally upload new videos every day, so please check my channel out daily. Now with fewer than 30 hours to go to the Brexit hour, it looks like the way in which the final words on the UK's departure from the EU will be portrayed will be down to the Prime Minister and his team, and not down to some mainstream media editorial crew. And this shows the level of dissatisfaction and, yes, probably mistrust that now exists between Number 10 and the likes of the BBC over our national broadcaster's left-wing and anti-Brexit bias. The PM is due to give an address to the nation at 10pm tomorrow night, one hour prior to the UK leaving the European Union treaties. Normally a broadcast of this importance would be handled by the BBC or one of the other mainstream broadcasters, with the resulting footage being shared with all the other broadcasters to use, a procedure called the pool system. But tomorrow night will be very different. Boris Johnson's fireside chat message to the nation will be filmed by his own videographer in number 10. It will be an inside job. Just like the recent videos have been of the new People's PMQs put out on Facebook, all following the plan of the PM's chief advisor Dominic Cummings to drive towards a direct communications channel between the PM and the people. A channel that bypasses the mainstream media. Once filmed, the pre-recorded footage of tomorrow night's fireside chat will then be uploaded to social media like Facebook and YouTube to attract younger viewers, as well as being given to the more traditional media outlets for them to use. But the BBC has responded to this by saying that they can't therefore guarantee that they will broadcast it. And in a rather sniffy-sounding response, a BBC spokesman said... There is a long-established process for recording statements by the Prime Minister at significant times, where one broadcaster records it and shares the footage. The BBC and the other broadcasters are well used to following this usual process, which respects our independence as broadcasters. If Number 10 wants to supply its own footage, we will judge it on its news value when deciding whether to broadcast it, as we would with any footage supplied to us by third parties. Well, if the BBC doesn't use it, they will be cutting off their licence fee payers from what could be the biggest news item of the year. And many of those licence fee payers will be those that do not have access to or don't use the internet. Exactly the people the BBC is meant to service especially as they plan to force over 75s to start paying for that service in June. And what about their worldwide audience? But let's think this through a bit further. We only needed the likes of the BBC because we needed big transmitting aerials to beam radio and TV signals into homes via rooftop aerials and satellite dishes. And to do that effectively and efficiently, the BBC had to amass its talent and equipment into broadcasting sites with direct connections to those big aerial arrays. But no more. Anyone with a smartphone can film and upload video and audio files to the web and even live stream them. I've live streamed on YouTube successfully several times from different places in the UK and that live stream was instantly available worldwide. Well, maybe not in places like China. I didn't need 20 people lugging massively heavy equipment in a huge van with a satellite transmitter on top and all costing thousands a day, including the purchase of the satellite bandwidth. 
So why would a government even want to pass out press releases hoping they'll be used, or waiting to be interviewed by a news camera crew, hoping that it will be presented in a favourable light and not be an attempted Boris-bashing interview, when the government could instead top and tail their own professional offering? How long will it be before we only see the PM, ministers and their spokespeople online? Then how long would it be before local government and other institutions do the same? All because it's so easy to do technically. But also because it's easier to duck transparency and scrutiny that way too. No journos asking the difficult questions. But that could lead us into a cul-de-sac of pure, useless and self-defeating propaganda. So beware. And also consider this. Despite the BBC, Channel 4, Sky, The Guardian, The Independent and the rest, the Brexit, Boris Johnson and, yes, the Nigel Farage messages got through to the people in a sort of reverse psychology. Maybe trying to play spin with a sophisticated UK audience wasn't a clever move by the more biased media outlets, a lesson they need to learn. And I do hope that Boris and his team have hoisted that one in for when they start transmitting in earnest. Anyway, if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell, or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me... Buy a mug with my mug on it. Anyway, what do you think about this thing with the BBC? Please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video. And also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.